Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Expansion for episode 10. With me, Mr. CLEP. Just gone ten o'clock here in no here, here in November here in Silver Run. Uh, we are still November one because I'm moving on to the next thing. The next thing I want to do, and um, as you can see, my money's gone up a little bit. I was taking advantage because I didn't realise I would still have the great demand up at the uh, container warehouse, and I did. So I had a couple of loads of lumber there, took them up. We're up to 919, but I'm going to spend a ton of it. Uh, you've also seen wood chip prices have gone up here at the fire department over 900 for a thousand litres of wood chips so i'm going to put the wood chips in here but i'm going to keep the trailer down here now i said about the curbs being raised we do have drop curbs but they're out here on the edge it means you have to drive across the pavement a little bit but it means you haven't got to bounce up and down the curb so at the fire department i'm going to get rid of these and we're going to get some gear so rather than wait till the end of the episode, which I normally do, and then it comes up at the end, I'm very pleased and happy to announce for December, or for a month from now, so probably through to the start of January as well. Um, that's not too bad for what I had in there. We've got a limited edition selection of t-shirts and a hoodie on the Mr. Silly P, P merch store of Festive One. Um, it says ho ho ho, it should be up on the screen now, if I remember during editing it will come up on the screen. It says ho 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 on the front, on the back, farming is for life not just for Christmas. The one shown there in black is the comfort tee, and that's the hoodie. Um, and if you use the code earlybird at checkout you can get 10% off your order. That will be lasting for a month, then that limited edition t-shirt and hoodie option will go that will no longer be available so if you're looking for a limited edition mississippi piece of merch now's the time to grab it i think that 10 percent discount is off everything on the merch store as well not just the uh, not just the christmas stuff i've been trying to work out the design and trying to do it and get it all set up um the actual uh, lettering itself has got like uh, snowflakes on it as well i'm very pleased i'm very happy with it but anyway yeah so in case you're interested something for christmas um i know some of them depending on whether you're ordering from the eu or the us it will say it could come um after christmas but i think and that's not me it's the website it's teespring is who it's with i think for an extra i think it's two pound you can get a rush order and you can get it for christmas if you want it for christmas if not then it doesn't matter and then like i say then it'll be gone and i'll probably do a new design for uh, for next year so what am I going to be doing? We're going to be beaver yarding. <laughs> so I've just, that's the, something I made up. Thank you, massive thank you to everyone. I did a live stream today. I wasn't going to do it, and I did it. If you haven't seen it, go over and watch it. I just chat about a few things and things that are happening in my life, what's been going on. Um, I, I said on that, I've been thinking about doing it for quite a long time. Then a comment was left yesterday, which kind of, I kind of pushed me to do it, I think. Um, the response has been incredible so thank you to everybody who has responded messaged me directly just off the back of that video alone and I, i'm amazed by the response i've had so many people message me to say they're in the same position some people message me to say they're in the position that i'm in or they've been struggling and my video has given them that oomph that bit of impetus to to do something and to change something about their lives that's huge to me. That's absolutely massive. I, I, I just, I'm blown away. Um, I always am and kind of humbled when I do something like that. I put up a video, I talk about something and people message me and say, thank you so much for that. That's made a massive difference to my life. Um, 
make a difference to one person you've made a difference haven't you but if you do for multiple that's incredible so yeah that that's up um but yeah michael messaged me to say about something he was doing and a few people messaged me to say what they've been doing actually is very clever they've been using the cable yarder attaching it to a tree over here running it across the pond and over towards the sawmill the south sawmill and they're running their lumber using the yarder and just dropping it into the cell point which is quite clever so my plan, I said in the last episode, is to clear this area out. I might put a production chain in here. I haven't quite decided yet. I was thinking about another sawmill, and I did test it. And the wood beams from the Zoddlezoct sawmill aren't accepted here on Silver Run. I was so hoping it would. I, could, I might still do it because the plank processing on that is so fast. And there's loads of the productions that will take just planks. So that might be the way of resolving the situation with the free planks from over at... Um, the South Sawmill. So, I've got off cuts, I've got logs to go to different places, and I'll be clearing most of this. The small trees I was thinking I was just going to wood chip with a devourer and stuff like that, but I've, I, like I said, I'm going to grab something. I think I'm going to buy it. You'll see from the thumbnail already if I've already, I assume I probably have, because that's kind of my plan. Um, I'm going to get the Beaverator. Uh, the Beaverator 1600, that's what it's called, isn't it? Tub grinder from Black Sheep Modding. But Michael messaged me, mod that came out yesterday, and I haven't had a chance to do the mod review, was the li the Lizard Tilt Attached by North Modding Company. And also a mod that I'd forgotten about, the Lizard Timber Carrier. So we've got a few things. Uh, and the forestry machines, was it under here? The Beaverator, 350 grand. It's quite expensive. But the good thing with this is I can switch it to do wood and wood chips. And at no extra cost, I can switch it to do bales or whatever, but stone to lime. So what I can do, if I get myself a toolbox, um, I can switch it out whenever I need to. Uh, we'll set up standard or magnum. Oh, look at that. We go magnum. Should we do that? Main colour, I think I'll change. Should I change it? Yellow, maybe, to match my equipment. JCB, yeah, let's go with that, I think. No, I'm going to buy it. I've lost my mind, I'm going to buy it. Uh, then I think, was it under, I want to say it was under dollies, I think it's under dollies, the bit that goes with it. Um, yeah, there we go. That, we've got a main colour on that, JCB2. Leave the room colour, leave licence plate, let's buy that. And then we'll go out to there, we'll go to forestry equipment. And let's get ourselves, we've got a whole load of stuff we're going to get. We're going to get the curler, K307C, for 95 Gs. I'm going to leave everything the same on that, let's buy that. Did I lease the last? I'm sure I bought it, yeah. Uh, and then, where is it? We're going to get a timber carrier. Oh, that's a point. Design one, design two. I'm sure. Does that go with wheel loader? If I go both sides, then I'm all right. I'm covered, then, aren't I? Uh, main colour. I'm just so if I put it down somewhere, I can see it. That's what I'm thinking. More anything else. One thousand four hundred. And then, I think it's going to be under, oh, is it under wheel loaded tools or is it under, if it's telehander tools, I might have a problem. I'm sure it showed it with a, that's all the, <laughs> there's a lot of CSZ stuff. Oh, there we go, tilt attach for wheel loaders. Will it work? Again, I want to be able to see it. So let's go with that. And buy it. So the, the premise behind this now being, well, that was a way, good way to spend a lot of money. If I attach the tilt attached to this, I can throw all of my offcuts, all those little bits that I said weren't working particularly well. I can strap them down. I can lift them up with a wheel loader. But then when I get to the tub grinder, or if I take them up to the north sawmill, I can then use the tilt attach to twist it sideways. So it rotates it and tip them all in. Kind of like a bucket. Kind of. Um, this I need to jump on. 
I've got to remember I have to use this. Which end does it go? I think it goes to this end. Can't remember. It's all very cool though. I used it in the Western Wilds. Was that doing sugar meat sugar meat cut? No, is it this end or the other end? It's the other end, isn't it? Does the lorry attach to this end? I can just drive it as it is, I think. Maybe I need to move it forward. Can I do that? I could just drive it like that, I suppose. We're only just over there, but if I'm going to take it anywhere else on the map, I'm going to need it. <laughs> I can't see, can't see, can't remember. Oh, it doesn't seem like that long ago. Should come up with the attached thing. Why is it not? I could have sworn. It went in there. me a moment. I'm going to have to... Why can't I remember? I'm going to go and grab my wheel loader. Attach those and see if I can get those to work. If they don't, it's been an absolute bust so far. <laughs> Thing is, I'm one of those people. I've always said that when I do my videos. I know sometimes I edit out um, sort of chunk. If I'm, if I'm doing a process that I've done loads of times before, that I've shown on... on earlier in the Let's Play or earlier in the episode. Like, you know, if I'm using a new piece of equipment and I spend ages cutting down trees or moving them, like from using this or whatever, um, I'm not then going to spend the next hour or whatever using the same piece of equipment doing that. I'll edit chunks out. But I'm, I'm, I've always been one thing. When you make mistakes, or like I do, forget stuff, with the best one in the world, I could have come on here and I could have practised for ages and then thought, OK, so when I come on, I'm not going to look like an idiot. I never think like that. I just come on and think, yeah, let's just have a go, shall we? Let's have a bash and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh -huh. It's going well so far, isn't it? I built a channel on it. <laughs> it does work. Ooh, I just broke that, though. Again, this is my first time using it, so how it works. I mean. So I can put my straps on that, line, which is great. But then if we switch to that... Tilt it. Oh. Can't tilt that far. I thought I'd tilt it all the way. I, mean, I suppose that's probably enough, isn't it? It's designed primarily. If you come up to something and it's on uneven ground, if, say for example, say for example, that pallet was sitting at an angle on the floor, when I get to it, I can rotate that to be able to pick it up at an angle without the fork, you know, without forks and things being a problem. That's the premise anyway, so. Hey, we'll go with it. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? So I will sling all my offcuts into this, off to one side, and then uh, all will be well in the world. Just drop that there. I'm sure I've just both of those this time, so that's all attached. So what I should be able to do now is all these little oh, fiddly bits that were jostling around on the other thing. I'm hoping they won't jostle around on this. And this is a little bit longer as well, which will make it a little bit easier. I can sing them all on that, and then when I'm good to go, everything will work. <laughs> he says. Now, I think we'll do. So that will be when I do longer trees, when I'm doing my 9 metre cuts, if I get an off cut at the end, if it's longer than 6 metres it goes in this pile, because these will be going off to wherever need lumber for making uh, the 
uh, staircase railing things or you know anywhere else that needs lumber or up to the north sawmill these smaller trees will probably just be cut down because if I cut one of those down now it's got a light on it's got a bit of light on the subject so I'm going to have to take all the grind all the stumps out as well so I can take the end off because don't necessarily need that all the jet wash and then because I can pick those up these will just all go on here there's extras I need them out of the way but it's all lumber it's not going to be a huge amount but when that's filled up I'm going to be laughing I'm hoping the knowledge of how to use the beaver rate is just going to fall into my head all of a sudden all of a sudden I'm going to go oh I remember <coughs> that hasn't happened so far but you know it might if I'm really lucky, it might. Oh. I've lost the blue scup again. So like I say, I'm going to clear some of these. I'm going to pile wood up in the various different locations. But what I was thinking was some of them... Actually, even carrying them over to there, I could use the cable yard to do that, couldn't I? So I've got a nice big tree there. I could run the cable yard out, put the beaverator between it, and then just drop trees into it. I guess couldn't I? That was that was kind of the plan. A bit, you know, using the cable yard and the beaverator together, and then you know just trying a few different things. I don't know. I'm sure it'll. It's like everything. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And the cable yard, uh, I've wanted one since I... Did I cut that? No, that's a leaf. Um, I've wanted one for so long. Since I did the first videos when this came out, I was like, oh, I love that. It's so cool. And a lot of people won't use it because they'll find it fiddly and annoying. And when you've got other bits of equipment you can use to do it, why bother? Fair point. Yeah, you know, I can put all the deadwood through. There's hardly any leaterage in the deadwood, but I need to clear it and want to clear it. So... I didn't even think about ploughing some of this out and actually having a field. But you could do that as well. There's all sorts of options. So, um, well, I'm going to load these up. And then I'm going to uh, go and find the beaverator manual. Work out why that's not connecting. It's probably something I've done wrong. <sighs> Can you imagine such a thing? I was right. I was waiting for the attached thing to come up here, but it doesn't. You drive that underneath. Because I'm thinking that angle matches, those two match. You have to go to here and then attach it like that, which then puts that up on the wheels for transport. I did this on Western Wilds. And now that's there to attach to that, which means I can drive the whole lot. <sighs> I thought I was going crazy. I'm thinking, I'm sure I've done that before. I'm sure that's how it worked before. Why is it not working now? That would be why. So, shall I put it... I'm trying to think. Have I got enough stuff here to justify it? If I move that out of the way for the time being. Yeah, we've got loads of piles of rocks. So they'll be cleared. I'm just trying to think, actually. Have I got... Did I... Did I get the toolbox mod... And if I did get the toolbox mod, where did I... Is it under here? Have I not got it installed? Or, hang on, it's under build mode and tools. It is, isn't it? There we go. Toolbox, that's what we need. I'll put it over here with our equipment. Oh, sorry, that's not, that's not owned by me, apparently. How terrible. I'm going to lose it if I put it here. Let's put it right there. I'm going to forget it's there. So, I can pick that up and I can move it. That's fine. So that will mean I can switch then this uh, between the two, hopefully, between wood chipping and um, the other thing. Oh, hang on. Am I going to be able to... 
set up what I need to set up. Just thinking where my tub grinder is. No. You know what? Because it's not going to be on my land, is it? Get off my land. And I'll have to unfold the, the back. May have to do some repositioning of this. We'll see, let's just move that forward. Up into that. Detach that. Yeah, like I said, I could have I could have just driven this out as it was. Didn't need to do that, but the engine turned on. Pop that there. Ooh. Unfold. Like that. Put the trailer underneath it. Where's that big tree? Is it going to reach up to there? Maybe. So. Like I say, I can do much bigger trees into this as well, which I will do. This is just the, the proof of concept to make sure it's all going to work okay. And then we can clear a load of stuff and put it. I might just sting a few in for the time being because the price of wood chips is okay at the moment. Um, and I've got lumber at the few places I need it for the time being. Uh, pick up. I'll attach that to the uh, yarder. We'll bring that out. So it's not hilly, it's not steep, it doesn't require it. Let's just make it happen. Oh, the other thing I was going to do, um, well, the other thing I was going to do, the other thing I was going to say, up at the container yard, there's a new cell point. There's a new cell point in town. It's up at the container yard, it's a sell everything container. And it's been put in by Schultz Modding sound as a pound and uh, it fits in very nice up there I can sell iron ore there and the iron ore price is also very good now I haven't filled up the iron furnace for two months is it two months or a month I've got a full trailer load and the, the mine shaft is still producing so what I might do is go and grab a lorry load of that and take it and sell it 48,000 litres and I think it's at 1,800 <laughs> Again, I would be insane not to. Taking advantage of what's here, why not? It's all processes that's here. So, like I say, I'm not sure how this is going to work, whether it will work, but we'll, we'll try. We can certainly try. I'm just thinking, if it's not my land, is it going to attach its... Uh, it's bits and bobs. Uh, where is that tree? It's over there. We might, we might be all right. Put it there for the time being. Can I run the cable out from it? I can. So we need to go. The tree is not too small. Oh, I've not got the height over the thing. Well, that should be high enough. What's blocking its way? That maybe? So here's the funny thing. Um, I've set it up and I've put it pointing in the direction I wanted it to go. <laughs> And I cleared, every time I tried to try to get to that tree, it didn't say the tree was too short, it just kept saying there was something in the way, something in the way, something in the way. So I thought maybe it's because I'm not on my land properly, so I moved it across a little bit. Went out again, no, nothing, nothing. I cleared everything, straight shot, right the way through, nothing in the way. I've got loads of trees now, little ones I've cut down all over the place. Nope, still wouldn't do it. So I thought, okay, well just as a, just as a, I wonder if, left it where it was, ran the cable out to that tree over there, and it hooked up to it straight away. Look at all the stuff between here and there. Runs right next to that dead wood, no problem. But apparently, 
out to that tree there, which you can actually see clearly. No, nope, wouldn't do. So anyway, we're hooked up. The beaverator's running. We've got our trailer sat behind it. Hopefully it's going to work. I don't know. I've got a tree here. Just where I'm not. the end of it. It's hard to find. It's the end of the tree. Is it underneath the trailer? Yep. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Call it to me. Oh, to me. I'll stop swinging around. <laughs> I assume this is going to work. Oh, it's like I'm murdering a Christmas tree. That's awful, isn't it? Look at that. No, it doesn't bother me, does it? It's like it's. I suppose I can just lower it straight down into there. Please tell me I haven't done it again. I've got the wrong one. There we go. Just wasn't switched on. Some wood chips. Back that trailer up a little bit more, I think. They go in the trailer or they go on the floor? Let's back that up a little bit more. This will work. It will work. Like I say, it's not. It's just a proof of concept. I, I can get it all to work here, but I know it will work wherever I need to do it. For some reason, I thought that was going to shoot out much further than the pipe, but. Apparently not. So this is where we find just how terrible the uh, deadwoods are. I'm sure it's 51 litres or something for the entire deadwood tree, which is 23.2 metres. There cannot only be... I, like I say, I understand if it was rotten, then yeah. But there cannot only be 51 litres of wood chips from that tree. I probably don't need to do that, do I? Uh, find a halfway point, maybe? Let's do that. Cut right there. Put that away. Do that. And attach. And then we do... That's too heavy. Oh, there we go. Excellent stuff. I've still got it attached to me, there we go. Right. Let's do that. And oh. was not expecting that. Oh, that's not good. That's weird. Oh no. Going well, going really well, isn't it? Two small chunks. Maybe I need to attach them away from it. 
hopefully that's moved it enough. That way, to there. So you can go in. Uh, is that moved? Uh, you never saw that, all right? You never saw that. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Might be the beef rate to move a little bit, potentially. There we go. Oh, proof of concept works as long as you're not an idiot like me. I wonder just how much that's now got in it. 468 litres, there we go. That's pretty much the entire Deadwood tree and that went up nothing. So tell me, what's this one here? Can we reach out to here? It's too far, I think, isn't it? Is it too far into this one? Yeah. Object too heavy still. Really? Hmm. Okay, well, it's a problem here because this is attached to some of these trees as well. Which one's that one attached to? That one there? Oh, well, I'm having a great time. I'm... It's just good fun. <laughs> I make it. No. Oh, that's still the problem. It's a part actually. <sighs> so as you can see, I'm going to have hours of fun. I might even do this one. Oh, of course, it's attached that one. Clearing some trees, throwing them in. Just enjoying my day. And what I need to do is find some of these that I can shorter bits and also bits I can pick up. 
like that. I mean, it probably would be easier if I cut all the stuff off because then I can see it a little bit better, can't I? But Stop doing that. That doesn't help. It's obvious I need to be attaching them further away because I'm doing it from the side rather than along the length. If I was taking trees from further on there, it wouldn't be an issue because I'm attaching them here. It's dragging them right up through this. That's not going to work, is it? So I'll try and put that one in. I'll let them go up and do there again. Rhubarb. What whopping amounts have we got now? Oh, I say it's not too bad. 4,728 litres, that's more than I thought I'd have. I think because I've moved the beef rater, it's all over the place. Uh, right. If I grab some more of these, the ones I lopped. That's going to be a little bit too heavy, that one. Where are some of the smaller ones? I cut down about five trees here. All because they were apparently in the way. I can't find a single one now. Oh, here we go. Enough of these shenanigans. I've put in a few little odds and ends, just odds and ends, off cuts, bits and bobs here and there. We're up to 11,340 litres. I have to say, I'm not too annoyed about that at all. I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. But we also need to check out this, don't we? I forgot to do this, the lizard timber carrier. So the lumber that I had here, I've just chopped up, thrown it all on, what I could lift. If not, I can use the skid steel loader, I can use the telly handler, I can use this wheel loader, I can put all the off cuts in it, I can put longer lengths in, it doesn't have to be small bits, I can do whatever I want into this. And then hopefully, let's see if this works. <laughs> I'll watch the cables, of course. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it should, in theory, shouldn't it? I can get that lined up about right. If being the, uh, the word, and then if we tilt it that way there. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Let's 
so I thought it was going to tilt more than that, but a bit of a shake. Bom. Bom. There we go, we're getting more. There we go. There we go, come on. You know you want to. Oh, we full. <laughs> we might have 18,000 litres, you know. Beaver yarding. There's a timber carrier. Hey, even if it's not for the win, it's brilliant. It's good fun. Oh, I might have lost a few of those along the way. Oh, let's pick them up and throw them in, can Anywho, I think we kind of get the, uh, the gist. I suppose what I could do as well, if I wanted to. I mean, not to be a... Don't try this at home, kids. Oh no, it's going to use that, isn't it? The same problem is the yard's going to be there all the time. Hang on, what I can do... Let's uh, yoik the yard to right about here. You watch, it's still going to be really... It's still going to reach, isn't it? If I was just using the tub grinder and not the cable yarder, it still reaches. I couldn't get it to reach a tree over there, but it'll do this one. Okay. I suppose nothing's do. If I turn to here and then put that away, for the time being, I can always put it back in. There we go. Need a bit of help, so. I don't want to fall in there, that would not be good. Yeah, I think we're full of the belt for the, in, in the trailer. Oh no, it's great. <gasps> no! Don't grind me, thank you all. What does the capacity this can hold? Does it now? Don't really want to get in there with it. There we go. Uh, so, anyway, so yeah, that does work to a degree. I think if I had longer logs and if I had all of the heavy ends at one end, the end I was going to till, that would work. If I had them kind of offset a little bit, that would work a lot better. Anyway. So, cable yarding, cable trailer, that works, that works, that works, awesome. Let's turn the tub grinder off. The yard is put away just for the time being, but we get, we're gaining more equipment as well as we go, which is great. What I'm going to do then is grab this, I'm going to take this load to the fire department and we'll sell it there. Well, like I say, for just off cuts, bits and bobs. 18,500 litres, we were making about, was it 16,000 for each trailer load? Might as well, then I'm going to grab the lorry, whiz up to the mine. I'm going to grab the full trailer I've got. Actually, we'll have a look while we're up there. I think that the pile will be absolutely massive. And then we'll take it up to the North Sawmill, to the new cell point that's been put in. And we'll sell some iron ore, because, again, why not? Might as well. I have got enough, I have got enough to buy the L200 high lift that I've been talking about. I didn't want to leave myself short for there was other stuff I wanted to get, but we could. Happy days. Happy days. What do we make? 17,138. Prof cuts. Brilliant. Now I could be making wood chip pellets. I could be doing all, you know, say all sorts of stuff. There's not a huge amount. Um, I mean, I think it's just two pellet things. I can do compost with the composter. Who was it messaged me to say that? Someone messaged me to say about the composter. Um, I wasn't going to use it. It's a very expensive thing, the composter 
wanted to um, make compost from the wood chips. Oh no, I've just driven over my toolbox. I knew it was just silly idea to leave it there. Where is it? I can't place it initially on ground that I don't own, but I can just pop it there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose this in the grass, aren't I? Let's put it on top of there for the time being. Will it sit on top of there or will it fall through? No, we're good. Um, yeah, I, I, I could then sell the compost. I haven't got any other processes at the moment that I'm using that I would need compost for, but I could use the wood chips to do that. So I'm going to grab the lorry. Head up. Oh, I've got a couple of um, stumps there that I brought over from, I think, further along there. Where I'd cut the tree a little bit too high, so I cut the stumps down low. So what I'll do is I'll move the um, yarder. See, trees like this, it's perfect for the yarder because it, they, these don't pick up particularly well in grabs and stuff like that. You know, I, I could be doing what I've done before and just grab the, the devourer and just drive around with the devourer and just honk into trees. But again, what's the point of having things like this and the yarder and all these other bits and bobs if I'm always going to skip to the easiest solution, you know? I have <laughs> been accused of that. So, um, I, you know, sometimes I do. Sometimes I just think, you know what, I need to clear this. I need to clear it quick. I want to do it. But like I said at the start of this Let's Play, I want to give all different stuff a go. I wanted to use the yarder. The beaverator I used before for doing sugar beet cut, um, but I can do lime uh, from this and obviously wood chips too. So that would be the next thing I need to try out, is um, we'll get the rock hydraulic breaker out, break these, we'll get a bucket for the, uh, the wheel loader, and then we'll scoop stones in and we'll get lime out. And we can either store it or sell it or do whatever we want to do with that as well. Um, but I've got a lot more clearing to do. Obviously the bigger trees I'm going to carry on doing my 9 metre cuts. It's just all these smaller ones that say so they're a little bit more uh, pesky. We'll get rid of them. So I'll see you uh, either up at the... Yeah, I'll see you up at the mine, mine, uh, the mine shaft. The, the mine. And let's get some iron on. Chop that about. Let's see how much we've got up here. It's one of those things, I could just leave it, but if it's constantly chugging away and I'm getting 40, 50,000, I think I've still got 50,000 litres over at the iron furnace. Um, I don't think I've used that much of it. Why waste it? It's a resource that's here. And like I said before, because it's free, yeah, look at the pile that's here. And that's still chugging. So I've got a full trailer that I loaded up with every intention of taking it to the iron furnace, but I know now I can take this full load and sell it, come back and get another full load and take it to the iron furnace. The iron furnace doesn't need it. Yeah, 48,000 litres. I, I don't need a full load. I can drive straight across though, be absolutely fine. While I'm doing this actually, I, I haven't done this for a while and I, I normally do it on my mod reviews. I haven't, don't think I've done it on my Let's Plays very often, but I, I should be doing it more regularly than I normally am. Um, but it's regarding the, um, oh blimey, the mine's gone blank. <sighs> I'm really good at this, aren't I? Um, for G Portal, for the um, multiplayer servers. The server provider that my Discord server uses, if you're looking for um, an affordable and reliable um, server provider, G Portal may be the way to go. Uh, if you use my ref link, there's a discount as well. Um, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I should have been, I'm sure I'm supposed to do it a couple of times a month. I've got um, links in the description and links on my channel and I think on my Facebook page as well. Uh, my Discord server, they love them. They, you know, they've got the, the multiplayer running, three different servers running. Um, and from what I've found from the emails we get going backwards and forwards, the guys at Gport are really helpful. Um, 
they're very receptive if you've got any problems or questions or whatever you can email them and they'll, they'll help out so yeah if you are looking for a multiplayer server if you're new to the game or you're just thinking actually you know what i wouldn't mind giving some multiplayer a go it doesn't put any pressure on your um console or your pc or whatever it is to host because the, the the servers are hosting so whilst you may own it you may be running it it's not putting any you know pressure on whatever you know, system you're running from which is why it you know, works very well um, so yeah there we go g portal if you're looking for an affordable and reliable uh, provider if i did it more often i would be better at doing that <laughs> Sorry, G Portal. Sorry, Dave. Anyway, I think over the top. I've got my toe down. I hope nothing comes over the brow of the hill, otherwise, I'm in real trouble. Which I can probably check on my uh, my tablet. I didn't want to cross then because I thought if I get stuck with the van and the, and the train comes, and I've had it. If we just pull in here to the gas station truck stop, actually, I probably do need some fuel. That's probably not a bad idea. While we're here, let's top up, shall we? Oh, you know what? There's the train. That was a pretty good call. Uh, no, want that one, and then that one. Iron Furnace. Let's go down to our Iron Furnace and have a look. 49,762 litres. Yeah, so I, I could put a little bit in there. I think it goes up to 59,000, or 60,000, is it? So, yeah, I wouldn't get much of this in here. And now it's storing my metal, so I've obviously got enough outside. Plus it's storing, I haven't done a metal delivery anywhere for a while, so I probably should take some more, split a load, and take half of it to the boatyard and half of it to the roller coaster. But if we turn in, it doesn't matter where we turn in, we'll turn in here. I know the train's not going to come now, so that's something I don't have to worry about. But out through here, out towards the container warehouse. I said, I'm going to still do wood chipping up here as well. I'm fully aware that I did just did just buy the conveyor belt and then uh, took my wood chip uh, wood chipping elsewhere, but we'll still keep going. The processes are doing it, but there we go, look. Shipping container here. Provided and installed by Schultz Modding. Always reliable. Pricing's good. Let's sell some more. Okay, that's going better than I thought it was going. Eighty-seven grand, not bad at all. Now I'm going to say this, you know, it's like I said, I've said before. Every day is a learning day, a teaching day, whichever way you, you know, whether you're the teacher or the learner, it doesn't matter which way around it is. Now, admittedly, yes, you know. Uh, setting up the beaverator and setting up the yarder to work with the beaverator it didn't work perfectly first time it doesn't always and there's nothing wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting it wrong <laughs> you know every time you get something wrong it's, you've learnt something you've learnt a way not to do it next time you know the problem is when you get to my age as well <laughs> if you learn to do something and you think at least I've learned a way not to do it wrong next time. So by the time next time comes around, you've forgotten what you did the first time. So it doesn't always help, but you know. Um, so it's all good. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to fill this back up again. And uh, I might take some back over to the uh, iron furnace just to top it right up. Like I say, I might put another iron furnace in. But I'm, I, I'm using the metal I've got. I've still got more. I, I'm not short of metal at the moment. It's not like I'm falling behind on delivering it, so we're all good. But anyway, uh, that's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.